Today, we're gonna bring a solar battery charger. Now, if you guys are not familiar with this, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit more and what's included. First of all, they give you the instructions on it, right? And then they give you the actual system itself. Now, just to make sure that not, this is not compatible with every single unit, so read the instructions prior to that. And But it's mostly for a lot of vehicles, RVs, cars, and batteries, and stuff like that. So basic stuff that's out there, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good compatible. I've seen it on yachts, I've seen it in boats, I've seen it in RVs. This is a great item. Now, if you're a Jeep owner just like me, you're on the middle of nowhere, and your, di your battery dies, It's if you don't have a stander to push down the hill and start it up, you're gonna have an issue. This base itself, it's super strong. It's it, you cannot bend this. It's like it's it's embedded. It's waterproof, water resistance on this. All right, so this is gonna good good for many years and good for outdoors because things get damaged with the sun and this has extra protection for that kind of scenario. Of course, the actual solar panels are built in here. You get the long cable because most of the cars, vehicles, our batteries are in the front. And of course, they give you a long cable. Now they do give you this unit in here and this actually will not overcharge your batteries that you might have a problem with it burning them out. This actually um, balances out the actual voltages that are coming in. So that's a great thing to have here in the back. So it's a new item that a lot of people are installing these systems. So it could just maintain that kind of infrastructure, a battery life, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual rest of the stuff. Now, you do get the suction cups, all right? And the suction cups, pretty much you mount them in there and you just drag them to the right and they lock in. This will be the things that you want to put in your windshield, in front of the windshield, so you could get enough light. Because, of course, if you have a Jeep or a car, you're going to get all the light in there. You just put it in place in the front, and that's it, you know? Also, if you have any kind of uh, structure that an RV, and then you have flat surfaces, and they have the extra way to suction, have the suction cup. I don't recommend you moving vehicles on this, because eventually they're going to start getting off. So you want to make sure you lock this maybe with bolts or something like that, uh, especially if you're going to be driving in the freeway or any kind of highway all right so now this part right here is a great thing to have so what we had an issue where we went camping and kids were charging their ipads or iphones and of course we we're not noticing how much battery we have in our vehicle and that was a big issue but this actually came in handy when we actually plugged it in waited a couple hours gave us a charge turn it on that was it now throughout the days we had kids charging it's okay we had this thing charging the battery at the same time you're not gonna get the maximum charge at one day it's gonna take you a couple hours but you get enough so you could get up and go so really handy item to have now you get the battery connection right you get negative and positive so you know red and black easy positive red negative black all right and they and, and if you guys notice it tells you right there so you can't go wrong on on connected to a wrong location now the great thing about it is that you don't always have to connect it to the battery you could connect it directly to your cigarette lighter so which is a great thing so if it's raining out there you don't want to be make sure you want to touch your battery or your battery's cover or is within say you have a actual bmw that the battery is located in the back this is an actual really good tool just to plug it right where you're at too if you have a good cigarette cigarette lighter you know this is another connection so we are going to connect it to our car and keep it there so great thing about these things is that if you're going to long trips and say you're going to take a couple months or you have a vehicle sitting in your house for many months and you want to make sure that you want to get up and go and that battery's not going to be drained as when you try to turn it on this is a great way to have it and especially in areas where there's a lot of snow weather kind of affects the battery this is good to have in your vehicle just to keep the battery flow keep it make sure it's it has a full fill and then you're ready to go, turn it on and go any kind of emergency now i like that they give you the suction cups this is a plus not how many vendors do that and they give you other options so you could actually connect this to any kind of battery voltage or any kind of connection that takes negative and positive and of course this will bring in the actual connection to you marry it through the back of the actual solar panel um, very simple they are easy to connect you know you can't go wrong on the actual connection it's a very easy puzzle piece so let's go ahead and put it together and see how it looks all right two ways of setting up i'm gonna put it inside if you guys can see it, it's gonna be on the outside showing the actual solar panel now two ways we could do directly to the battery here directly to the battery but because we're internal we have our actual lighter connection in here we're going to go ahead and connect it all right so we're going to disconnect this one marry the actual lighter one and give it some power probably the best way to do it 
it's from the inside of course we could go directly to our battery but because we're inside i'm gonna show you the outside this is the actual solar panel right now i'm not directly in the sun i'm actually in the shade but it's still getting some charge in there if you guys can see that on the actual glass here it is from inside so i like that the suction cups are set up in there and we're ready we're charging right now we're actually charging our battery keeping in maintenance keeping the battery so let's go ahead and take a look if you don't have this option like i do like i said we could do it directly to the battery they give you plenty of slack plenty of slack to actually charge so right now we're giving back some battery some juice so hope you guys enjoy the video 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel i hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful and i hope you hit the like and subscribe